In the Journal of Physical Therapy found that hand grip strength is highly correlated with forearm size, we need to first understand their anatomy. The forearm muscles are complex, consisting of both superficial and deep muscles. To simplify it, the muscles on the anterior side of the forearm consist of the flexors of the forearm. These muscles are mainly responsible for flexion of the fingers and wrists, but also act to pronate the hand. On the posterior side of the forearm are the extensors. These muscles have the opposite function and are mainly responsible for extension of the fingers and wrists, but also act to supinate the hand. And both the flexors and extensors contribute to wrist adduction and abduction. So I'm going to show you guys a forearm workout optimized based on current scientific literature and our anatomical understanding of the forearm muscles. This exercise is essential for hitting all the muscles of the forearm and improving your grip strength. You simply hold the center of a bar with one hand and prevent it from tipping over on one side. You can also perform it while walking similar to the farmer's walk exercise for the added stabilization requirement. This exercise is likely your best bet in terms of working and strengthening the flexors on the anterior side of the forearm. Let the bar drop down to your fingertips by extending them and then bring the weight back up by curling your fingers and wrists upward. I prefer this over wrist curls on the bench as it requires less wrist flexibility and less stress on the wrist joint which can be a concern for those prone to wrist injuries. I suggest supersetting the previous exercise with this exercise here, standing wrist extensions, which is a very similar exercise but will mainly work the extensors of the forearm to help balance them out with the flexors. Feel free to use dumbbells instead. This exercise is going to help target the brachioradialis, which is a very prominent muscle of the forearm that contributes a lot to overall forearm size. Although its prominence in your forearm will partly depend on how low it inserts, which is determined genetically, this muscle can nonetheless still be targeted and grown by performing reverse curls. This exercise targets the brachioradialis because of the pronated grip used, which as shown in this study by Nato et al, increases the involvement of the brachioradialis and reduces that of the biceps since the brachioradialis doesn't cross over the wrist joint, therefore it can't be trained with wrist flexion or extension alone. So adding in a reverse curl movement that involves elbow flexion is essential in terms of forearm development. This last exercise can be used as a finisher exercise and is added in here to induce more metabolic stress in the forearms, which as we know based on several studies is one of the primary mechanisms for muscle growth. Simply grab a bar and rotate it forwards as fast as possible for 30 to 60 seconds and then rotate it backwards as fast as possible for 30 to 60 seconds. This allows you to work both the flexors and extensors of the forearm in one set. You hear a lot of people say that forearm isolation training isn't needed given that you do a lot of barbell and dumbbell lifts, with one study showing that subjects performing additional forearm training with a lifting routine led to more forearm strength gains than resistance training alone. It shows that this frequency tends to be the most optimal for forearm growth.